My name is Ramson, and welcome back to Shadows of Loathing. In the end of the last episode, we said that it was going to be bedtime. Now, but apparently it is not. Excuse me? Maybe it's time to go talk to... Jessica. I got that book! And possibly also a bachelor's degree in chemicals? I'm not entirely sure. Wow, sounds like a busy day. Yeah, fair assignment. I'm gonna go to bed now. Alright, sleep tight. We're having some trouble pinpointing the next artifact, so we should have that sorted out by next morning. Alright. Easily sorted then. Oh, I almost forgot. Before he left on his errand, Charles asked me, asked me, asked me to have you pick a third store. Oh, of course. The first applicant's Jardware's Hardware. I guess if your name is Jardware, your options for rhyming business names are pretty limited. The second's Rodkin's Fine Jewelry. A jewelry store could really class up the old Plunkett Street. And the last applicant is Advanced Pants. Doesn't really say what they plan on selling, but... I have to assume it's pants. Let's go with the pants store. Okay, I'll get them all moved in and I'll make sure Charles will have the next storefront ready for applicants. Thanks, Jessica. You've had a big day. You woke up, you started college, you finished college. Time to get some sleep. I murdered a fish. More things have happened, gay. Yet another fitful dream. You'll always look back on, fondly on your afternoon at college. Three statues of you. Each whispering. I listen in. The whispering drifts in and out and mixes together, making it hard to understand. All I ever got. All I ever... All I'm doing. Ron. Study. Bluffing. Shut one of them up with no tongue. All I ever... All I got, all I ever, all I'm doing. Brawn, study, bluffing. So it's clearly uh, your uh, muscle, mysticality, and moxie, right? Shut one of them up. Okay, which one? Uh, probably not the one with hip shades, right? Probably the scowling one, really. You quiet one of them, now you can hear the others. Pep talk. You've given yourself a pep talk and convince yourself that you can tackle your current problems with style and expertise, sucker. So glad that works basically exactly as I might have imagined. This dream has a horrible hole in it, I go through that. And it looks like I am someone else now. Someone who I recognize by that beard and mouth to be Fulk Proctor. Right? No, wait, Dean Wormwood was the person who was the black-eyed uh, inhabitant of Sandwich near the end. But Fulk Proctor was involved as well, I believe, in the uh, newspaper that we ended up reading. My research wasn't thorough enough. What did you do, you idiot? Something's prevented me from entering the campus. Will the barrier hold without me? Oh no. Well, we just revealed the SIT campus to the ministrations of Poindexter and Madam President. Perhaps through this there is an ending, one can hope. Yet another fitful dream. And this time we are equipped well to just leave a doorway back to the waking world. Speaking of, by the way, Folk Proctor. Folk's a, uh, an anagram of uh, a fluke, ain't it? I believe, thanks to hints that I have been given, that Folk is going to be the... Oh, nothing I want to do there, I'm just making sure I rub the appropriate rubbables here. Uh, that Folk is going to be the term that I'm going to need to get into the basement in Sandwich. Let's go do that as well. It's a shelf for knickknacks and tchotchkes. I rub the crystal, getting twinkling fingers, heavy as the hand, I sit for a while, getting inherent stink, pretend to bite it to get some fairy fist cuffs. Straight in the melee weapon attacks. Television has not been turned on, or rather television has not been created yet, so I cannot use any television there, unfortunately. Ryan, thank God you're awake! Uh, am I? If you say so, well, what's eating you? I'm at my wit's end! Charles Wallace has gone missing! Really? Where'd he go? He wouldn't be missing if I knew that! She closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. Okay, okay, I'm panicking. Come on, Jessica. 
don't panic. I do know where he went before he went missing. What happened? We were having some trouble getting the Detectatron to focus on the next artifact. All he could get was the big moist. The big moist? It's a swamp north of Porkham. I'm pretty sure the entire swamp is not the cursed artifact in question. Charles went there yesterday afternoon to see if a downed power line or something was causing interference. Huh. And he hasn't come back yet? No, no he hasn't. Maybe I should go looking for him. Are you trying to drive me crazy? Come on, get a wiggle on for crying out loud. Charles could have been eaten by Gator Man by now. You got an item. The map, quote unquote, of Big Moist. This sponge, you are assured, will act as an effective map to the Moistlands. And the Big Moist bus stop. Excuse me, eaten by what now? Gator Man, you know. I don't know. Which seems like a good thing. The Big Moist is full of a tribe of nasty and belligerent half people, half alligators. And they don't take kindly to intruders such as, for example, Charles Wallace. Or me, presumably. Are you chickening out on me now? When a friend's life is possibly at stake? Ever heard of the sunk cost fallacy? From the look on Jessica's face, this does not seem like the best time for this quip. If you want to continue to have a face to make quips out of. Is this map made of Swiss cheese? It's a sponge. Which deli have you been going to? A sponge is definitely not a map. You're going to a swamp. It's soft, it's damp, it has holes in it. What do you want from me? All right. Okay, I'm on my way. We have another message, as I may have imagined. Uh, there's a message from Rufus at SIT. I call Rufus back. Um, the number you've dialed is not in Thurveth. Please hang up and- Rufus? Oh, it's you, Ryan. Sorry about the subterfuge. I had to tap into the university line to get a phone down here, and this isn't strictly speaking legal. Anyway, I think I've finally figured out the next step in the building of a quantum telecommunications device. Could you come to my lab as soon as possible? Okay, see you soon. Excellent, we did imagine that had to continue by this point. It's time to get a drink to start the day. I'll start the day without a drink. What are you mad? Absence for the mysticality and moxie. Uh, let's get plus one to max AP, plus 20% to meat drops. Excellent. It's two of the frat guys you helped out earlier. The guy who was looking for mesquite chips and the guy who lost his jacket, I listen in. Oh, heck yeah, bro. If you've got problems beating the cold, Qin's the hobby for you. Wait, did I say hobby? I meant lifestyle. Standing next to a warm, comforting fire does sound pretty, pretty g good. Right, bro. Plus, while you're standing over there, you can be gewing up some bergs or weenies or whatevs. It's win-win. Gosh. You bask in the warm glow of their conversation game. 35 experience for having done so, hell yeah. I'm gonna snoop on everyone now. I say as though that were not already a foregone conclusion of what I'm going to be doing. Let's have a look at our additional stores. Hey Tex. You're selling a dirty sax. When they finally invent gritty cop shows, you'll finally be able to provide the surf perfect soundtrack. Yep, and a grating washboard. I don't use these things for laundry anymore, they're just making annoying noises. I might end up selling that, I have to imagine, to... Uh, I can't remember his name. Washboard Dan, it might have been? Over in the Hobo Town. Time to go to Advanced Pants. The shopkeeper gives you a friendly smile, I introduce myself. Hi, I'm Rain. Hi, I'm Nancy. If you're in the market for pants, you come to the right place. A market for pants. <laughs> nice. What's for sale? Athletic shorts, muscle and uh, physical armor as well, at least. If you wear these, you'll find the athleticism was in you all along. Specifically in the groin and the butt part of you. Black leather pants for moxie and physical armor. Durable, stylish, comfortable. Except for the comfortable. Black leather skirt. This is great for those times when you want to pretend the bottom half of you is a cow. A flowing skirt for plus one moxie and plus one to maximum AP. This swishy skirt frees up your feet for fancy work. Loose pants, these roomy pants, provide maximal freedom of movement. All right, go. Uh, Northern chaps, these are chaps like the gunfighters up north used to wear. Plus two to range weapon attacks, wearing them thick canvas pants. A pair of pants made of durable canvas. Just don't let Savile or Dolly paint one of those weird giraffes on your leg. A thick canvas skirt. 
a skirt made of durable canvas. Just don't let that Magritte clown paint a pipe on top of it. Renee, no! Wear the jeans that we're looking for, baby. Double stat bonus. These secondhand pants are worn out from a lifetime of use in a coal mine. It's difficult to imagine a cooler pant. I buy them. I will also be buying a flowing skirt. Uh, some black leather pants. Some athletic shorts. I'm just gonna clear you out, basically, as much as, uh, as, as much as is reasonable here. Let's have a chat. So, why a pants store in particular? My grandmother was arrested a couple times back in the 1850s and 60s for wearing pants in public. Oh, since then, my family's been big advocates for women's pants and, uh, equity in, uh, clothing generally. Wow, that's a deeper answer than I was expecting. How's it working out for you? Much better nowadays. We don't have 100% pants acceptance yet, but we're getting there. I did notice you had skirts for sale too. Yeah, I've been experimenting with a lot of men's skirts, and it's proven to be a tougher sell. Men are more stubborn about their clothes, I guess? I wonder if it's, like, ideal or necessary to completely empty your inventory for dialogue. It doesn't necessarily seem at the moment, but hmm, maybe in the future, who knows? Let's have a quick check of the watchful eye. I'm looking for the note on Fulkprobda. Uh, this morning, a new sculpture uh, by Ocean City controller Margaret Smudged. New. Uh, 180. I could have sworn. Oh, here, here we are. Uh, it says the town was founded by a man named Fulkprobda and was considered a nice, if unremarkable, little village until traders found the town completely empty in November 1692, apart from one dark-eyed old man who joined them on their route back to Ocean City. After that, the town remained abandoned and undisturbed due to rumors of haunting or curse. Spooky! Time for us to try and figure out what's going on there. Um, trapdoor, is there? Yeah, there's a manhole here, which means there's some fishing that I'm gonna be able to do. Because it's a new day, of course, new fishing. I don't remember any toilets in this nearby area that I would need to attend to. And I still need the money, so I'm more than happy to do a little bit of fishing still. We make our way out of there. I don't think, yeah, the ominous, vaguely human-shaped thing on the ground there is something we need. Or something that we have any new reason to interact with. Yeah, so here is still flooding. Let's head over to some polycarps and see if maybe there is a a, <laughs> a thousand gallons of holy water there. A couple of black orbs or holes or whatever the bizarre shadow monsters are made of are drifting towards you. I'm gonna fight them to save some HP, but ultimately, not really gonna be too much of a problem, right? Give him the sleaze. Absolutely slossed him. And now if we could just have a couple more attacks from uh, basically anyone, this should work out fine. You won! The orbs dissolve into black smoke and, I don't know, angst probably? Professor Adams tells you some boring facts about them though. This tree's being struck down for its hubris. Ah, looks like more than one has, never mind. Hmm. I really feel like maybe there's a pattern, a puzzle, involving those trees. And the Mary had a little lamb being played in the background. I don't know, maybe. I'm gonna ask him about holy water. Speaking of help, Father, I've got some vampires to deal with. I was wondering if you could spare some holy water. Certainly. Our font is right over there. Please help yourself. Well, the thing is, I need like a whole lot of it. Enough to fill an industrial boiler. So like a uh, hundred gallons? My goodness me. Well, if you could provide the water, I can bless it for you. I can also do ice if that's more convenient. I believe it will work out to uh, 15 cubic feet. Hmm. A hundred gallons of water are 15 cubic feet of ice. Now, so I'll start looking. 
I fish in the font. Gaining some holy water. The Yellow Basin doesn't have anything new for us, right? Well, I mean, you know. Save the fishing that we can do. But it really doesn't seem like fishing is particularly effective for us anymore. It doesn't seem like we're getting new items as much as uh, sellables and extra meat. If it was giving me experience... Whoa, excuse me, that's a nasty bag right there. Five poison to an enemy. Never mind. I was about to say, if it's giving me experience, I would still be really, really motivated to do this. I yell into the pipe and no one answers. Fishman Casino. I'm gonna buy a slug or whatever that is, get a Fishman Concoction. Why not? I was passing through, seemed like a good thing to do at the time. So if I need to find ice, I really feel like it's gonna be one of these buildings I've gone to before. I join in and then I ignore them and leave. Ms. Brewster, you do have a toilet, but do you let me use it now? Yes. I fish in it with my equipped fishing rod and get some corroded cufflinks for plus one moxie as an accessory. Some confused salesman must have mistaken these cufflinks for a pair of dead goldfish. Looks like there's a little bit of fish in the hand here as well. Good start to a new day, a handful of clean water and three meat. We also find for ourselves some nasty goo and two meat. And finally a glob of wet hair and a little bit more meat. Oh. Miss Brewster doesn't seem to be around. Now's your chance to go into the kitchen. Interesting. I go into the kitchen. Miss Brewster's kitchen, okay, oven. A low cupboard sits beneath the window. I lay it bare by getting some mana enriched flour. Ever since the advent of mass-produced magical flour, the cost of fire insurance has skyrocketed. The fridge hums contentedly, I check inside and find there's nothing but bagged sandwiches and threatening notes attached to them. I leave it alone. The top drawer is tantalizingly cracked open, I raid it and get a match and a fuse, and then I come back and... Excuse me? You're telling me I... Wow, I was hoping to fish? May I fish? No? Well, it would have let me fish before. Rude. I wonder if I actually legitimately just chose between two different mutually exclusive sets of items there. I hope not. Let's check out the fridge factory. Seems on our way. Also, like, come on. If I'm going to get... Oh, forge ahead. It's really cold over there. <gasps> Maybe. Chihuahua's pants. Put on... Look for some warm pants. You know what? Filter. Elemental armor. Cold. That'll help me out. Fireproof clown pants. I could put other things on if I needed it. So it's cold out here. A pretty flower growing out of the patch of frosty industrial waste. Hmm. Oh, okay, I can flies buzzing around. All right. I'm a little suspect of that still. It feels like this has got to be the area where I'm going to have to find the ice, right? Refrigeration factory, cold, etc. These fridges are new and empty. That's quite boring. Train control that I don't think I'm going to need at the moment. Some dangerous booze. This fridge has been fitted with an experimental ice cube maker. Unfortunately, it's... Made one single gigantic ice cube that fills the entire fridge. I take the gigantic ice cube. Sure, why not? It isn't the most ridiculous thing you'll do this week. You might think that a block of ice as tall as you would be difficult to carry around, and you'd be right. Yeah, 100%. Unfortunately, we can't fish in that poor man's remains, but... Now, it's time to go get this, uh, this blessed. Bless this mess for me, please. Adams, you may stay outside. Never mind. You are already in here. Ah, oh, hello again, my child. Were you able to find that large quantity of water you were looking for? Uh, yeah, I got a 15 foot, a 15 cubic foot block of ice right here with me, father. You set down the block of ice with the thud. Why, so you do. All right, I'd be happy to bless this for you. He mumbles under his breath and makes some religious gestures at the huge block of ice. 
There you go, as holy a block of ice as I've ever seen. A 15 cubic feet of pure holy water in the easy to deal with ice form. Thanks, father. Okay, so this was for the SIT, but before I leave even this zone, I think we should probably check out the rest of them, see if there is anything new they are capable of today. A fortune teller's tent, I complained about the price. Okay, it doesn't seem any different there. Uh, Tony Fiasco, the most recent hat you've seen me wear was... The prototype Electro Helmet, so you've not seen this cap. Was that a Jacqueline baseball cap? Perfect, I love it, click. 30 me. Guy is still glaring at me. Game of skills is nine to all stats. Nine to all stats, nine to all stats. So if I went and pet a cat, as well as put on some optimal gear, would I have the ability to do that? Well, would I have the ability? Yes. Yes. Right? Let's have a look at our pants. I'm looking for the... Probably the first ones I bought. Yeah, the weather jeans, plus one to each. Now I only need uh, two more muscle, two more mysticality. I'm not wearing a hat that's giving me either of those. So I have the ability already to change two and gain one. Uh, I mean, you know, mysticality from the mushroom helmet, but I can just get the uncursed fedora on if I'd like. The ring's not going to help me. I can use this to get my additional mysticality, and then I would need to get two more moxie. Sorry, two more moxie, two more muscle, elsewise. Yeah, there's the mysticality in the bacon stone pendant. All the reporter's cufflinks, if I wanted those instead. And then as for muscle, yeah, none of these are going to be the change that I need for that. So accessories, or rather filter, sorry. Maximize my muscle, and then I need to eat a food and use a potion. I use the rhino balm and become rhino balmed. And then as for the food, Fishman Concoction increases my muscle by one and my maximum AP by one. Oh, right, but that's that's a potion rather than... I was legitimately thinking I was going to eat that. A Shadow Hot Dog. Actually, I'm gonna go with the mushroom steak. It's not really a steak, but a steak-sized slab of mushroom stem. Steak is just the easier way to say that. Hey, it's our rising young star! You're past the halfway mark to glory. Are you ready for the challenge number four? What is it? I need you to use these three baseballs to knock over that row of four wooden ducks, punch a hole through this sheet of three quarters inch plywood with your bare fist, and translate a randomly selected page of the brothers Karamazov from the original Russian! Jeez. Oh, come on, don't check it out now! Okay. You carefully weigh one of the baseballs, uh, baseballs rather, in one hand while stretching the knuckles of the other, scanning the page of dense Cyrillic characters. Then you take a deep breath and make a fist. My heart disagrees, but whatever, I'll drink with you. Quack, 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 ricochet. I take a deep breath. I want to brawl. Punch and quack. Bravo! Not the usual way that last bit is translated, but I'll take it and give you this in return. You got an item, a wind-up monkey. Dang it, that's your least favorite kind of monkey. Wind it up to inflict burning equal to your mysticality once per fight. Hey, look who's back, kid. I am truly impressed. We hardly ever get anyone who can get all the way to level five in the games of skill. Are you ready for the next challenge? Maybe? You've got it in the bag. All you have to do is explain the Copenhagen interpretation of probabilistic nature of quantum wave functions while climbing down a 10-foot greased rope ladder headfirst and sink a baseball three throw with this iron shot put. Ready? No, that's a little rich for my blood at the moment. Well, not with that attitude, you won't. What? Not needing any of those additionally, it's time for a little more fishing. Some nasty goons, remate. A piece of scrap metal into me. Doing well. Fish and wine. Even more fishing to be done here. I would have only thought three items. But no, more fish for the sack. 
I should probably sell a little bit of fish in the sack at this point as well. Handful of cream cheese! Have I, have I, have I never given a handful of cream cheese to the rat, maybe? Definitely gonna hold on to that, just in case. Are you kidding me? Are we no, no longer gonna be ended from fishing at any point? We no longer need to practice our aim on that buoy? Never mind. We finally get stopped by the game. All right, my sack. Whoa, I don't need to crowbar. I sell one. In fact, what else do I have duplicates of? I'm not seeing a lot of duplicates as I'm going down, and now we're getting to things that are so cheap that I wouldn't really even want to sell the duplicates. Right, if I go new, the top of the list is, yeah, just the fish in the sack. Excellent. 93 meat for having done so. Let's move over now to the chop shop. The two of you are strolling down the city sidewalks when Professor Adams occasionally stops to make a quick sketch of some modern thing that you take totally for granted. This time, he's taking out his notebook. A little paper falls out of his pocket. Uh, you dropped something, Professor. Ah, yes, excuse me. My pockets are filled with bits and bobs and little packets of things. Uh, one never knows when you might want to perform a little off-the-cuff alchemy, you know. Uh, you can go ahead and take it if you'd like. You got an item, sordid grease. You can tell this was used for something horrible. Another lab red as you knew there. This old oil barrel is worth fishing out of with a hot rod, though. A tin lizzy grease gun, as well as one wet cigarette. This is one of the only items capable of giving you cancer and a tapeworm at the same time. This is really gross. Some hand washing gasoline. The Tin Lizzy's hands get really, really dirty, and the only thing that works to clean them is gasoline. Unfortunately, it doesn't really increase any of our stats, so this is just not going to be a thing I ever use, really. And another welding mask for us, a welding bench. Big Liz, sorry I tricked you out of your gang. I'm just going to come by and tell you about that again every day. Make sure you never forget what I did. Uh, there's the old school blacksmith's anvil. The car's not being chopped. Looks like this area is safe. Let's go to Hiram's. Finding I'm only to assume absolutely nothing, even after the unless query against one of those doors. Snackle Mills is nearby. Worth checking. So in the hole. Uh, shove past them or throw a cola walls grenade. I honestly don't want to hurt him. I'm just going to shove past them. I've not got time for this malarkey. Get out of my chum. You shove past the fishman, uh, the fishman rather, whose slimy hands can't find purchase to grab you and stride away. They global angrily at you, but either they're too startled to make up any further issue of it, or you're basically, or they're basically trying to keep a low profile. Either way, you manage to make it out of there unscathed, well, except for the fish slime. A similar th a petrified flower. I mean, look, I can make my way in here, but. Even though I have mana enriched flower right now, it doesn't seem like I need to make a... Oh, mana enriched flower is just the alchemist's hardware of baking. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, never mind. I thought I was going to be making another baby. Another dough baby. So we're checking the office just in case. We'll never know. I wouldn't have known Ms. Brewster wasn't in her house if it weren't for the fact that I was in her house. A short link street top in the alley challenges passers by to an arm wrestle for the title of Alley King. I roll up my sleeves. You make quick work of the young tough. The alley's yours, but faced with all the administrative responsibilities that come with it, you give the alley back to the people instead. With five experience, I make my way to the old Relaxer Cola factory, which I do not expect to find anything in. Admittedly. And my suspicions were well rewarded with absolutely nothing. I increase the rebality of a joke as we walk past. No need to spend too much time on it. Just a regular house in the ground floor. That's the first toilet I think that I fished something out of with my accursed hot rod. 
a shadow rift that we can step through. We can still do as well. Interesting. I am incomplete. I must complete I. A piece of I. Take it back. Uh-oh. Yeah, I mean, look. Admittedly, I don't think this is a good idea. Were I in this world? And I was given sudden control over this beastie? Would I re-leg it? Re-arm it, even? Probably not. But we're the toughest in the business, and we'll just kill him if it needs to happen, I imagine. A throbbing ring of negative energy around a pair of dark shorts. I close it with my shadow pliers. With great effort, you manage to drag one side of the rift to the other with the pliers and wrench the whole thing closed, or ply it closed, I guess? You gain 20 experience for having done so. Do I not get the pants, though? I really wish I knew, like... Like, I don't want to spoil the game for myself, but I also do want to know, like, am I actively making decisions here in situations where I don't think I am? Because one of those was, you know, I took out some fishmen at some point early on in the game and clearly made the decision, effectively, that I am never going to be friends with the fish mother. A decision I was unaware I was making at the time. I don't think we need to check the entirety of the regular house. I think we got all the tentacles there we might need. At Zimmer's house, I'll see if you have a accessible bathroom, because I don't believe you did. Door's locked. And upstairs, I think we even just go straight into the attic, so I don't think this one's gonna work. Yeah, straight into the attic. That gives us a relieved nod, we move over to Dirch's house. I don't need a baby clip today. You're passing all right. I'm the offer of a lifetime, but that's all right. That's all right. I got a good feeling the next time you see me, I'll be in the antique store next door. Hey, Dutch. Still sleeping? Monday matches, boys. No need to talk to any of them, now that I know the secret. Uh, Ishmael, I will pet you and gain Ishmael's boon for plus one to mysticality. Thanks for not blowing my cover, it means a lot to me. To get the two, even if you don't know it. Fair enough, nothing's happened. Whoa, hello, there's water in his bedroll. He must also use it as a bath, I fish the bed and bathroll. I knew there had to be something here. You got one smoke out from under the pillow, one cigarette. This cigarette is much less wet than it was when you found it. Bad for you, but not as bad as a whole pack. Now that leaves us with the Hobo Camp, Goldthwaite, and Marvin. Gonna go to the Hobo Camp first, because it should be the easiest to rumble my way entirely through. Johnny, do you have any, uh... Your updates on that secret plan of yours? Also get the effect of some warm hands while we're here. Gaining for ourselves plus three cold armor. Hell yeah. Letters McCabe, do you have anything new for us? No, not at all, it appears. Uh... The hope you meant at the abandoned grocery store. Were you able to find any work? Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I was wondering, in fact, about why I didn't know that character's name, and it's because he mumbles everything. Washy is still making that washboard zip, not washboard Dan. And also, as it turns out, already has a washboard, doesn't need another one. Probably shouldn't mess around in here, wake people up, but I did get a bunch of bunk beds for them. Fair enough. Honestly, I'm very happy to have a location that I do not need to be paying that much attention to. A shadow prism. Sacks of violence for the AoE, obviously. And then these shadowy orbs I'm gonna try and take out with Timpani. Leaving me with the ability to, oh, weapon attack, right, ah, uh, unfortunately. With this rod equipped, things are going to be a wee bit annoying. I'm gonna 
heal up the Mobius copy of myself. Send out Timpani 1. And try and smack down one of the Shadow Devils for their hubris. One more timpani hit against them, one more timpani hit there. And focus on the Shadow Devil in the back line. Eventually they will all die, I'm certain of it. Did you use everyone's moxie by that? No, I'm just gonna poison the Shadow Prism. Let's use Hypnosis on the Shadowy Devil, removing five from all of their stats, making them significantly easier to deal with. Honestly, that ought to do it. Get him. You won! Surely that'll discourage these totally alien creatures from the incomprehensible motivations of doing whatever they're doing. Yeah, I figure it might. Park groundskeeper says it was nothing. I agree. Uh, probably no toilets around here, if I recall correctly. I did not see any toilets. I could gain for, uh, gain for myself some additional tea. Well, I'm getting a copy of each at least. You know what? Let's get a second copy of each. The botanical system of the gardens. Still obviously don't need to interact with that. Going further back, we find somewhere to actually fish. Nine meat and three extra meat alongside it. This is still very, very little meat we ever get from doing this. I'm gonna need another fishing perk to really make it worthwhile. That said, definitely time to continue fishing now that we're in the old sewer under Goldthwaite Park. Uh, fish in the sack. Uh, two in the bush, a northern filth trout. And an unwashed catfish. If it were already washed, I wouldn't trust that adjective anymore. Certainly not when the game uses it. And there is, uh, admittedly, slightly more to Goldthwaite Park that I should probably at least have a wee look at. I don't imagine there's going to be anything here in the Lepidor Territorium. Still worth giving it a wee bit of a squiz. Science Center. Check out the gigantic pendulum. Hey, uh, Professor Adams, do you have anything to say about this area? Evidently not immediately, at least. All right. That finishes Gold's weight. Marvin, have you got anything? I'm. You know what? I'm just going to pay the Glocklands. You enjoy that money. It's Random Stranger's Door. I am Ben... Star. I'm Banstar. No? Don't believe me? I'm Henrietta Election. Come on, vote for me. I am Suzanne Field. Apparently, they saw right through my disguise immediately. Soda Factory, I... If I recall correctly, I did go... Yeah, I went through that as we were on our way up, which means now we have completed with this zone and can move over. Finally, to Crystal Dream Lake. A moment, if it please, you asks, Professor Adam. Uh, uh one moment, please. Uh, do you smell that? No, no, what? Maybe something's a little off? Uh, there is a distinct odor of rotting meat nearby, but with some unusual undertones. Since my unbronzing, I have been quite unable to smell anything at all. Something in my chemical makeup of this odor must have reactivated my nasal abilities. I do believe it would behoove me to investigate further. You want to investigate rotting meat stink? It's probably just a dead bear carcass or something. And nevertheless, the spirit of inquiry is one of which I have devoted my life's work. Okay, go have fun! Companion vignette. The amorphalus titanium they are said to only grow in far off Sumatra. It smells even awful from all the way over here. Oh, I've never smelled its equal, thank God. 
As someone who likes stenches, this is terrific. Incredible! It's more than 12 feet tall. The tallest recorded specimen was only ever a 10 footer. I breathe deeply. My word! What a combination of pleasantly odiferous chemicals. If that means it stinks, then yeah, I can't even describe it. If you'll allow me an attempt. Fascinating! I uh, detect, I believe I detect dimethyl trisulfide, uh, esulveric acid, and trimethylamine. What's that mean? Those are the chemicals that produce the smells of Limburger cheese, sweaty shocks, and rotting fish, respectively. And I can smell them. It's a miracle. I'm going to go throw up everything I've ever eaten in my entire life. Professor Adams' chemicals will all be more effective. Excellent. Thank you. Well, what an invigorating little adventure for the mind and sinuses. Are you ready to return? Indeed, I am. Hi, Professor. Enjoy your rotting bear carcass? In fact, the source of the odor was revealed to be a marvelous specimen of Amorphophallus titanium. Amorpho what now? Known in the vernacular region as the corpse flower. Quite marvelous. I don't know what to say about that other than I'm glad you had a good time. I'm going to continue on my way and our way will lead us almost immediately into the credit screen so that I can say my name is perhaps to be the name of the game is being Shadows Over Loathing. Top left is the series playlist, you draw recommendation down below, streaming past the names of the people so generously supporting the public on Patreon.com. Slash Rhapsody plays out of the tank team. A special thanks to this episode to Victor. Hopefully you all be enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you all next time.